Just about every expert I talk to about what to make of these incursions into Russian territory by Ukraine or its proxies, they said the same thing. Well, the problem is you're going to give Putin uh, leverage to respond in a way, and I'm sure he'll go bigger. Bingo. Putin is now putting nuclear weapons into Belarus, the territory uh, of its ally, which is right on the northern border with Ukraine. Um, this while the head of Russia's Wagner mercenary group has vowed to transfer control of the city uh, to the Russian army by June 1st. Um, what city? I didn't even see that in there. Um, I'll get the answer for you on about that. Bakhmut is what we're talking about. So what does it mean for the war? Uh, let's bring in a better mind. Just back from Ukraine five days ago, retired Army Brigadier General Peter Zwack. It's good you're back. Uh, okay, General, what's your big takeaway from your trip? Uh, thanks for having me on, Chris. Um, let's talk about the uh, the nuclear weapons. Um, there's a lot of chest thumping going on in this thing right now. Um, Any time that uh, Putin and the Kremlin feels uh, inordinate stress, uh, they will push back uh, with the declarations of nuclear capability and putting weapons or into the storage facilities that have been built already uh, could be that. The key point here, um, I think for uh, your viewers, is that it doesn't change the balance in Europe or uh, the nuclear balance or weapons. Uh, if they bring in, they're brought in, yes, they're there in Belarus, um, there are already nukes all over the place, and um, but it does show um, uh, that uh, they're they're pulling Belarus even more closely. The strongman um, uh, Lukashenko right. is, is agreed to do this, and it just creates a more heightened and nervous tension. Though the overall operational strategic capabilities have not changed because nukes can range in from anywhere, not just Belarus. Understood. One more question for you, General, and I appreciate you. Uh, does this change what America should put in as parameters for how its weapons can be used, specifically the F-16s, um, the fighter jets? Should the United States posture be, you cannot use these for attacks inside Russia. You fight up to your border um, so that we kind of don't help escalate this. I think um, um, I think that uh, over over time, I think we're all in on the F-16s. Uh, uh, it's been a long road to uh, hope, if you will. Uh, yes, I think right now uh, my mind um, uh, is the F-16s are going to be a added capability. It's not going to be a, a complete game changer, but it will allow the Ukrainians to fight with more authority in their airspace, fire, fire um, missiles at a longer range, and 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 reduce threats. Um, the I would not equate nukes. The, while the Russians may declare it as such, oh my God, you're putting in F-16s or long-range missiles. And we're going to put in nukes, but they don't have, Chris, anything else to brandish. Uh, uh, our patriots, I was in, in Kiev at the time, knocked down their Kinjal so-called cruise missiles on the 16th of, 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 of May, uh, which was a big shock. Uh, so the Russians don't have anything else to brandish. Um, and it's very Dr. Strange love, mm. you will, but they're going to do that. But I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't allow ourselves to get excessively spun up on it. It's just the nature of, of the craven side of what's going on in Russia. And the last point is uh, the fall of Bakhmut. Um, yeah, it's a setback, but it's not uh, uh, decisive in any way. And I believe that the Ukrainians believe that in the end they will get it back anyway. Right. A lot of stuff is going to be going on this summer, um, and stay tuned. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.